Could Edison be leaving Manchester City this summer? Find out today in the Transfer Roundup. Uh, big up to everyone, hope you're good. Do us a favor, like, well, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, welcome back to another video. It is the Daily Transfer Roundup. We go through all the transfer news that's happened during the day. Um, and, and just a general catch-up, usually about 10 minutes long. Uh, just to fill in uh, the gap at the end of the day, just to make sure you, you're all up to date. You're all up to date with the latest rumours. And Edison... Is a big one at the moment, so we'll get into that in just a minute. But first, um, talks continuing with Sergio Gomez. Um, he's looking likely to be on his way out of Manchester City. Um, the hunt signed Sergio Gomez has taken a fresh turn today with another two clubs joining Real Sociedad in the pursuit and um, showing willingness to meet the Premier League champion's valuation of the fullback. Now, that's where we've been pretty much holding up with the deal. Um, Real Sociedad have looking like they were going to be the ones to sign Sergio Gomez. But two other clubs are stepping in to sign him. I've, I've heard people saying about even keeping Sergio Gomez at the football club. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen something about some senior representatives of the city like suggested keeping him round. I don't think it's a good idea but personally. I think um, it's, it'll be a good move for him to to get off and go do uh, go do his job elsewhere. I uh, wish the best best luck to him. Obviously not gone yet, but um, remains to be known where he'll end up. But I think uh, I think there is. There is some talent in there. As much as he gets roasted, there is some talent in there. Arrivals-wise, uh, you're looking at semi Kitsoy, I'm going to say. Something like this. Uh, ex City ex were basically, it's basically been in attendance at Turkey's uh, Euros match uh, to monitor Besiktas forward semi <laughs> Shit, pause. Uh, <laughs> semi kick Shoy. <laughs> Something like this. I'm going to butcher the name completely. I'm going to call him Semi. I don't want to call him Semi, but we'll leave it at that and we'll, we'll, we'll move on from this. But yeah, City are monitoring him. Um, Anthony Patterson from Sunderland um, is being linked with a switch to City as the club scouts the market for um, the ideal acquisition ahead of Edison's possible departure. Obviously, we'll go into Edison stuff very, very shortly. Uh, consistent performances have resulted in admiring glances from the Etihad Stadium as they kept tabs on his progress in the championship. So City are already looking at other keepers. Now, I personally, I've said this many a time on different videos, but if Edison was to leave, I think uh, we will go for a second choice goalkeeper and we'll upgrade Ortega to be um, number one. I don't think... That um, I I I don't think we'll go for a number one and then Ortega will stay back up. I think Ortega will basically take the spot of number one and we'll go get a second choice goalkeeper in. Give me sport. Um, I've said that it's it's then and it's not clear at this stage whether they're going to be looking for a direct replacement for Edison or, or they're going to move Ortega up. But I think that's what they'll do. I think that's what makes uh, the most sense. Uh, City so, uh, curious about Bologna centre back Ricardo Calafiori. Um, according to James Hardcastle at The Athletic, 22 years old. Um, Centre-backs, really not sure. When you say centre-back to me, it makes me think of CFG signings uh, or just players that are going to come and go on loan just on the basis that we've got five centre-backs at the football club. Um, we've got this, we've got a heavy amount of centre-backs. But I guess if, you, if you're going to start considering Vardyol as more of just a left wing-back or left-back and then Ake basically more playing at left-back, I think you could then say... You own the actual proper centre backs. Um, obviously, Nathan Ake can play there, but you know what I mean. You'll have your John Stones, Akanji, Ruben Diaz, players like that who will stay in them areas. But then I say that, but Akanji can play right back. It's a very versatile back line that we have at the moment. I think it's only really Ruben Diaz who's set at centre back. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, centre backs for me is not a priority. I'd be looking elsewhere, looking more towards um, a full back, to be honest, if I was going to pick a defensive choice. And then I think a midfielder is what, what we really need. Um, now, the departures, obviously, onto this. Edison being the big one is still, still burning this transfer rumour. It started off as a rumour and I'm starting to believe it more and more that Edison, I think there's a possibility that he wants to leave Manchester City. I seen rumours the other day that Saudi are willing to offer him over 700 grand a week. So I can understand why his head could be turned. It's a lot of money. Um, and according to Sam Lee at The Athletic, uh, source is close to Edison have been expecting him to make the move to Saudi Arabia towards the end of last season. So at the end of last season, 
people close to City were already expecting this. Like, us as City fans, it came as a shock when it, when the news came out and was all calling it bullshit. But, at the moment, it ain't looking good. It ain't looking good on the Edison front. And now, I'd, I'll be devastated if Edison, Edison goes just because I really, really like him. Uh, I think he's very crucial to the way that we play, the way that we build up. Ortega, however, is very good. And I'd be, we're blessed to have that option there if Edison did decide to leave and Ortega would become number one. However, I just think... Having Edison is somewhere else. He, there's a different aura about Edison. I think uh, he, he's a big player in the uh, in the dressing room as well. But there's a real possibility at the moment of us losing Edison this summer, which sounds crazy to even say out loud. Um, it said, according to Give Me Sport, they're saying it'd be more of a surprise if Edison doesn't leave Man City this summer than deciding to remain with the club. According to club sources, that is. Um, the Brazilian international has worked his way onto the radar of the Saudi Pro League. Uh, as we know, we've said about the few clubs that are interested in him, with staggering personal turns put to the players' camp. As I say, over 700 grand a week. So it's very, very difficult, very difficult to, um, to turn that down. Now, like I say, Edison is the big story. Of today, there's not really much going on. Uh, just obviously, everyone's at the Euros. I think uh, transfer rumours don't die as such, but they, they slow down a little bit when the Euros is on. So you've got to allow um, for that. So, we're, yeah, there'll be loads more news about Edison, things like that, in the coming weeks. I don't think things will get sorted until uh, for a couple of weeks now with the Edison thing. And it, that's such a huge move. But let me know in the comment section below. Who would you sign to replace Edison? Would you go get a first choice player or like a, like a, a number one goalkeeper or would you go get a second choice goalkeeper and let Ortega be number one? Because I think that's the way that I'd do it. I think you'll, you'll have an easier market to look at if you look at it that way around. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on that. Edison, the big story of today. Um, and then just to come go through confirmed deals, these haven't happened obviously in the past day or so. But what I'm going to start doing is doing the confirmed deals just to keep on on, on top of everything. Taylor Howard Bellis went to Southampton for twenty million pound with an obli uh, with a twenty million pound obligation to buy. That is, uh, Stefan Ortega. He signed a one year contract extension at City, um, and Scott Carson also signed a one year contract extension at City. Um, a few academy players left. I'm not really sure on those. But as, as far as first team kind of players go, that's uh, that's your lot. But Sergio Gomez and Edison looking nearer and nearer to leaving Manchester City. And we're just scouting some mad names. Uh, so big ups, everyone. Hope you're good. Um, transfer roundup. Like I say, sometimes they'll be short. Sometimes they'll be long. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's the, way the, the way the news goes. But we're back tomorrow with some more streams. We have fixed the TVs. The TVs are fully fixed now, so we can actually watch Euro matches, which I can't wait for. Uh, so Euros watch longs to resume from tomorrow onwards. Um, and yeah, big up to everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in a bit.